Welcome back guys, part two out here at Silverleaf. Uh, we got 217 yard par three. What happened? What was that? Am I on the tee box? Yeah, I'll go back, sorry. John's going through his pre-shot routine, trying to get in his head right now. He doesn't like this kitchen. He doesn't like it, gotta give him space. No, his kitchen's gotta be clean. These guys have been dominating. Here we go. Just a golf shot. Be looking short. at it, looking at it. Be short. No, uh, that's almost Yep. So th this is what I love. He hits it at 217 yards, he hits it to about 10 feet, and he goes a little long. That's the difference, guys. Well, that That's, feet, you think 15? I'll say about 20. 20 feet. Oh, you ain't lying. Some people are born a little better than others, John. Yeah, good shot. Oh my gosh. Now right. that is 10 feet. I know it was. No, we, we can never rephrase that. He knows where the paycheck is at. That's, uh, where, that's where the power is, bro. Not really. All right, I found, uh, went a little bit too long here. I'm back here. Gonna have an interesting shot. John was right off the tee. He is about 20, 25 feet, and Ben's about 10 or so for birdie. I'm just gonna try to get, uh, get away with a bogey on this hole. No. no. Look at that! No. Look at that! Da -da -da, da -da -da. <laughs> I figures they get the 50 footer he made, da, da, not da, the one I da, made. <laughs> That's all right, I'll make mine, I'll back it up. Oh. He did it! Oh. That's on camera! Good Freaking killer. Hey, you laid that tension too. Freaking killers hey, out man. here. Tiger was nothing compared to me, bro. Freaking killers out here. Hole eight. 569 yard par five. Kind of a blind tee shot. Right there. You want to be right at that with your little fade. That way you can drop either way and you're fine. Right at the cactus with the little fade is the play. Just a power fade. They don't teach that in the United States, ladies and gentlemen. I actually learned that here. Oh, you did? <laughs> Take back everything I say, I know nothing. Yep. Got to hide on that today, man. That will work. Mm -hmm. Better. Work in the driver. Oh yeah, dude. Get a little commentary, a little owner commentary. Oh, uh, you don't want to hear me. You let John do it. You let me do it. Yeah. With PJ Tour style. This is number eight. <laughs> Par five. A little breeze into the wind. You got to stick it between the cocktail up there. Uh, I know you guys can't see it. There's, there's two main ones, right where the caddy is. Everybody loves him a little fade, so it should be perfect for the shot. Hey, bro, pull your, your shorts out a little bit. You got wedgie. <laughs> I'm, I'm just joking with you. Oh, he went after that one. It's leaking right. No! It's leaking right. He keeps going right. That and we couldn't see where he landed. Is there territory? There's a lot of real estate up there. A lot of real estate is what I heard. All right. Dang it. Not even affected by the drone. He's walking it off, but he likes it. Oh, oh. oh, what a shot. Man, we are out here, Silver Leaf guys. Beautiful, beautiful course. It's in great shape right now. Tough. One of those courses that you gotta find the fairway and you gotta make some shots hitting into the greens. And then you play with these guys and they just freaking make it look so easy. All right, John decided to get dirty. From like 238 out, stuck it to 10 feet, well in front of the tour average. Well done. Ben linked his out a little bit to the right, chipping a putt over the bunker. And I think I'm way short in this bunker. Gonna have a devilish, devilish shot. I 
took a lot. No, it wasn't a bad shot. It was more the wrong club. What would you hit there? Sandwich. Probably 52 out of there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Pretty good. Yeah. All right, how many hole in ones do you guys it's got? Addition, though, the one. Rakes. John's got one no hole in one, Ben. No how many hole in ones? I got three, two this year. Three hole in ones, two this year. The first day I bought the club, I made one here on hole seven. <laughs> what? First day with my, my pops and two, two other guys. Year. I dunked it with a nine iron. That's how you know you made the right decision. Yeah, it was oh. karma. I kept it on the outside. That's a really bad stroke. Yeah, they're just a little slow because the, they just came out of overseas. Yeah. I'll show them how to use it. <laughs> Good birdie. Nice approach shot though, dog. Oh, Two boy. birdies. Nicely done, boys. Slightly uh, drowning right now. Gonna have to pick up my game a little bit. It was not a good hole for me. All right, we're walking up to the tee box here on hole number nine, the last hole in the front nine. Uh, it's a drivable, slightly drivable par four. It's about 320, uh, but it's into the wind today, so should be trying to leave it somewhere just in front of the green if we can. Kind of see what we're looking at right here. There's Cole. A lot of bunkers. 313. 313. Shorty par, four. Shorty par four. Money hole, number nine. Drivable for us. Time, to, time to make a shot. Go. Go. Uh oh. Go. Well, he's got an eagle eagle putt. Is that? Yeah. There it is. Hang on. All right. If you uh, wanted to see the difference of PGA Tour versus amateur, this is what it looks like. PGA Tour drives the green. And one, amateur, short. <laughs> <laughs> but still, big. there's a big difference. I think people don't realize how, how big of a difference is. But no, John hit a freaking really good drive in here. Ben's a little bit off to the left. You're gonna have a chip. And then your boy's short, gonna have a chip. Oh, I didn't hit it hard enough. Big hop. Oh, wow, you got that bounce in there? Thank you, sir. Good read, good read. Everyone, well done. Nice Two. birdie. <laughs> Dang it. Hole 10. What do you like, front front nine or back nine better? The last five holes here are the best in the valley. Last five holes are the best in the valley. You heard it here first. The last five? I'll, I'll include six, 13 in there. Six, last six, says John. Good shot. Okay, we are on hole 10, par four, 470 some yards. Plays like 5.30 uphill, yeah, it's always man. into the wind. It's not easy holes out here, guys, no easy holes. Shot. That's what he does. Jeez. Hang on. Good? All right, front nine is in the books. I, f I feel like, guys, I'm holding my ground a little bit. These guys are freaking killers though. It is insane how good a golf they play. And let me just remind you too, the driving range right now, for you guys that wanna know, Silver Leaf, they're, uh, they're basically putting in, I think a $2.5 million driving range. They're gonna have Trackman in there. It's gonna be absolutely insane, really dope. So they're working on that. So there's no driving range out here. So these guys are doing this with no warm up. Literally no warm up. We just came out and just started hitting balls, and this is how well they do. It's, it's absolutely insane. And Ben doesn't even golf. Ben, ben is not a, T, a PGA Tour pro, but if 
from what John says, he, he thinks he could be, and I do too, man. He's playing really well. All right, this was a long one. I think I had like almost uh, 200 or so in, and I pulled mine a little bit to the left, so I'm in the bunker. John's up here, he's gonna have, this pin's in a, right in the middle, but it's a lot of slope around it. Ben just went off to the right, and I've got a bunker shot. Tough green. Tough green. Oh, right over the Team Europe marker. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, do I want to say it was because he told me to move the marker? Look at this, Team Europe. Dude, he knew, he knew that was the line. Hole 11 guys, par four, 388 yards. You will have a hard time hitting that draw with this one, that's all. Yeah, well, I love that three We're talking about drivers right now. He's got the Callaway sub. Uh, Taylor made, what is it, T, what is it called? The M2. M2. This is what we're dealing with. Nice. Golly. Nice and straight balls, huh? That was beat on too. You're full of You've been playing golf longer. Three months. No, four. four. Your swing is way too good. Well, I'm get, I've gotten. I've had like four lessons of cam, so that what helps. What the hell does that matter? You got a good swing, dude. Like legit. Ben is now hitting John's driver. John swears he can hit it better. So let's see what happens I don't here. Know if it's up. Ooh. Shots fired on swing speed. Oh, he hit that really good too. A little fade. God, he hit that really good too. You know, if uh, if, if the PGA Tour doesn't work out for you, John, you could be a good club fitter. Me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're running up. We're seeing distance. What happened? First ball better or longer? So the Taylor made was longer. He said it flew where my other one finished. Taylor made flew. So he's getting about five yards more with that TaylorMade driver. Dang, that's this is the TaylorMade right here? This is my, no, that's my second one. My first one is this one back here. Dang. Longer than that. Wow, that is, that is distance right there. Let me shine for one shot. Wow. So let me ask them, what do you think about like this shot right here? Where there's a false front. What are you thinking about right here on this shot? Like are, are you thinking about flying it all the way whole and stopping it? So are you in that one if you see I hit it a little higher with less spin. Yeah. Just a different shot that I have. So you're trying to take the spin off so it doesn't come back. Yeah, exactly. Because you it, could zip it back if you want. The, the grains are soft enough, so if you hit it just high with not much spin, it's gonna stop. And then out of that is just. Uh, so are you doing that by? Are you putting the ball in the front of your stance, back of your stance? I, do or this, you... I just instead of putting my hand so much forward, I keep it more centered okay. and less hand action. So you're not changing the ball position. Not really, no. Are you doing anything different with your swing? Are you trying? No, like I said, less. Just so, less forward press on so it. So it's less forward press, and I just keep this kind of like a Deschambeau swing, where I'm not breaking my wrist. I just a lot of body feeling. Yeah. You turn and, with the body. Yeah. There you go. All right, three really good wedges in here. I thought I stuck mine really, really close, but John decided to get inside of me. John's got like a little four footer. I think I've got like a five or six footer. Ben looks like he's got about a 10, 12 footer. Give me a little quick. Oh my God. Very too much speed. Wow. See, I wore black today because I knew the cameras were gonna be out here. <laughs> it's a lot more slimming. I profile good in black shirts. Golly. 
Oh, oh, it did. It did wiggle. It did wiggle a little bit. That didn't hit the middle. That didn't hit the middle. Hole 12 here, par four. Uh, looks like a little dog leg left. Yeah, it's, I think it's 418, little dog leg left. 418, okay. The bunkers right, bunkers left, all the way down the left side of the fairway. It's got to hit a good one down the middle. Yeah, you got to you gotta hit one down the, down the rope. Straight, huh? What a day, what a day. Last hole, part two, guys. I'm just trying to survive. I missed that little short putt for birdie on the last hole. Wish, wish I could have had that one drop. That would have been nice. Also, I think Ben's cart doesn't have a governor on it because he is flying. I'm gonna ask him that uh, when we get up there. That's far enough, it's perfect. Go. Short. Jog caught flyer, he's off the back. This is a devilish putt back there, oh my God. Ben chipped it up a little short here. And then I'm gonna have a doozy of a putt too. There's a lot of slope on this. Most slope greened out here? This one, yeah? And it's like in a little bowl. Okay, that's going to do it for part two, guys. I feel like I'm kind of holding my ground a little bit, trying to at least. Um, and we're moving on to the last six. John says this is his favorite six. And uh, I'm looking forward to playing with, playing with them and seeing what we can do. Make sure you follow. All their social media will be down below. It's been a lot of fun playing out here at Silver Leaf. We've got six more holes. Can't wait to play them.